Happy Monday, everyone! As promised, I am going to discuss in this video what I discovered last week that has helped me tremendously understand my body, my body type, and the things that I've been kind of going through, kind of like my struggles. <laughs> um, so we're going to discuss that in this video. Um, also, I still have a sinus and lung, lung infection, so I'm going to try really hard not to cough on you or sniffle on you. So if I'm talking really fast and trying to go through this a little faster, it's because I don't want to be stuck in a coughing fix with you. <laughs> anyway, so um, first of all, get a pen and a paper because I'm going to give you some notes to go research this out on your own if this is something that interests you. So go ahead and pause this video and go get a paper and pen so that you can take the notes that you need. Okay, so first of all, um, I have learned a new word. I am not 100% sure how you say it, but I'm first going to spell it for you. It's A-Y-U-R-V-E-D-A. -E and I think it's... Ayurveda, Ayurveda, something like that. And you can also say Ayurvedic as an Ayurvedic body type. And I don't know if I'm saying that right. So that's just how I'm going to say it. <laughs> um, so what Ayurveda is, that's how I'm going to say it. It was developed in ancient India 5,000 years ago. And what they've done is they have created three different characteristics that they um that you can be put in three different characteristics did that make sense <laughs> for example um they take your different characteristics your body type your diet your lifestyle all of those different things and then they put it into a characteristic type now the three characteristic types is called a vata or a veda it's v-a-t-a the other one is a pitta, P-I-T-T-A, and the other one is a kappa, kappa or a Cappadocia, which is a K-A-P-H-A, -A, Cappadocia. Those are all doshas. So what that is, is each one of those characteristics have different strengths, different flaws, different things that they're more perceptible to as far as poor health, like specific things that they're... Um, more perceptible to. It was that the right word? <laughs> um, and then also um, different things that you could do to put your body back into balance if those things are out of balance. So that's what was really appeasing to me because I realized I am very out of balance, which I kind of already knew that in this journey. I've uh, listened to my own intuition and I've discovered a lot of this on my own on my own already so it was just really cool to find this um, test that I'm gonna show you how to get to in just a minute or tell you how to get there um, because it really just made me feel like um, that I wasn't so abnormal you know that there is a reason to what I've been struggling with so it kind of brought me some peace and comfort knowing that there's something out there and also direction on how to rebalance myself out so it's been really really reassuring for me so I went to a website called joyful belly it's just joyfulbelly.com, J-O-Y-F-U-L-B-L-L-Y.com. And when you go onto this website, you can go on and buy recipes and diets and all that jazz. I didn't do any of that. I went onto this website so that I could take this Ayurvedic diet test. So what you do when you get to the website is go onto the left-hand side of the website um, you know how they have like those lines, so it's like a menu line. Click on the menu line, and it's the first option where it says take the the dosha test or the Ayurvedic diet body type test. Or it says something like that. So go on there, take the test, and then it will ask for a username and password, 
no fear. <laughs> you know, there's so many tests out there that require all of this stuff and then they want you to pay for their program and blah, blah, blah. This doesn't do that. It just lets you take the test. You do need a username and password, which I found actually beneficial because I can go back in and reread things about my body type and it is helpful for me. So take your test and then once you find out what your body type is, they have a lot of information on their website about your body type. But I also went on to YouTube and I did a Google Google search and I just found out so much more about my body type and researched much more about it than what this website has shown me. And I've just learned so much about myself. Like I said in my previous video, it felt like I was reading an autobiography about myself and it was so, so crazy. So go take that test, figure out what body type you are, and then you can decide whether or not you're in balance or out of balance or if it even rings true to you at all. Like it might just say that you're a specific body type and not might not pertain to you at all. <laughs> but hey, what was the harm in trying? But for me, it helped me tremendously. So I am the Cappadocia body type, which is an anabolic body type, which I already knew this. Um, and also, sorry, you guys, I'm shaky. Probably because I'm still sick. Okay, sorry about the shake, guys. Um, so what this told me, it gave me my strengths and my weaknesses. And if I'm out of balance, things that I might be experiencing, which was so interesting. So things that it said that I might be experiencing are food intolerances, which we all know I have some food intolerances. I'm first intolerant to fructose and then I'm sensitive to dairy and wheat and they say that you get more food intolerances the more imbalanced you are. So, hello, there's that. Also, um, you're more, I'm more prone to depression. Ha, huh, yeah, here we go. And diabetes, which I mentioned before that I was, I am pre-diabetic, technically. Um, also, a heavy sweater, which definitely retention, uh, retain lots of water. Yes, definitely. Um, craving a ton of sweets and sugars. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and just so many different things, hormonal issues. Like, oh my gosh, like it's just insane when I was reading up on it. Like what? This is insane that there is an actual reason why this is happening to me and it just made me feel so much better. The weight gain is a huge one and having a hard time losing it or releasing it and then once it has been released having a hard time keeping it off. So it just made me realize that I do have a lot going on with my body that I already was kind of figuring out on my own. But once this website showed me that it is a characteristic of a specific body type and that I need to address specific things to put my body back into balance to help me release some pounds and also gain better health. So with that being said, I'm so excited to start taking the steps to rebalance out my Cappadocia body type. <laughs> Um, and a lot of it was like not napping during the day because it makes you feel extra sluggish. A lot of it is I'm having a hard time, uh, getting in movement. Like the, the Kappa body type is just more dense and heavier and just has a hard time getting movement going and getting motivated to move, which is totally me. Um, so a lot of that is to not take naps during the day to not snack. Um, once the sun goes down, just do not snack. Um, my main meal should be lunch and then a lighter dinner. Um, I also could have only two meals a day and be perfectly okay. Like a lunch around, or a, like a lunch around 10 and 11 and then dinner between four and five, which honestly, I already do that. 
subconsciously. I didn't mean to, but I already do that. But my problem is I snack. And then after dinner, I'll snack at night and then I crave lots of sugar and then I eat sugar before bed. You know, you know how it goes, right? <laughs> so um, just learning different things and making sure I have sufficient amount of protein and healthy um, whole grains and lots and lots of vegetables to help my body balance out. Um, also to limit the sugar, which I already knew, which I'm already trying to do. Like, it's just amazing how much my intuition has already slowly been picking the stuff up, but it was just really nice to see it all in one spot. So that's why I'm talking about it because it was like a light bulb went off, like, bing, oh my goodness. Like there is a reason for all of this. And I'm going to try to rebalance this all out and see how I feel and just trying to follow the lists that they have set to rebalance my system out and my energy out and all that good, healthy stuff. Um, also, they say what kind of herbs you should focus on, what kind of spices you should focus on your food. Um, for my body type, the more bitter and spicy things are good for my body. Um, so I ended up looking on Amazon, some Kappa diet, um, items and I found a Kappa tea that I started drinking at night and it's like a spicy tea. It's interesting. I'm not used to it, but I, I've noticed when I drink it, I don't crave the sugar as much, which is amazing. So who would have thought that spicy would have helped me kind of cancel that out? which I would have never discovered unless I hadn't gone through this. So it's just really, really interesting to me, and I'm really anxious to keep researching it out and keep figuring things out and tuning into my energy and my intuition and God <laughs> and help my body heal and just feel so much better about myself and just feel healthier and stronger and have more energy. That is my goal. So, um... Also on there, I have poor circulation, which I didn't realize, but when it told me the symptoms of poor circulation, it was like, oh yeah, I totally have poor circulation. <laughs> so um, they recommend like a dry rub massage every day. And so on Amazon, there's like this raw silk gloves for a Kappa Dosha massage. And so I bought those gloves to like massage and circulate the skin and it also helps with um, like cellulite and stuff, which, hey, that's nice. <laughs> so I'm going to start doing that. This whole last week, I've just been really sick. So it's been really hard to actually start on this because I've been sick, but that's okay. Um... I've just decided to focus on gathering information and learning more about it and getting excited because why not? So this last week, I ate mostly ice cream popsicles and soup because my throat hurt so bad. So I'm just going to toss that week out and just say, you know, I've been sick. It's okay. I'm not even going to stand on this scale because I don't even want to know what it says. <laughs> So sorry if that disappoints you. I'm not going to stand on the scale today. Um, I actually had a few of you recommend not standing on the scale for a bit. And also my husband said, why are you standing on the scale when you started exercising again? You're naturally going to start building some muscle. And when you see a few pounds on the scale, it's going to discourage you, even though it could just be muscle. So throw that out. I'm just not even going to do it for this week and maybe not even next week. I'm just going to focus on healing the sickness that I have currently and also just getting excited and motivate myself to learn and grow and better myself, even mentally. I am just excited. That's why we're put here on this earth is to learn and to grow and to become better people. And my specific belief, if this isn't your belief, that's totally okay. But my belief is that 
we are here on this earth to learn how to become gods and goddesses because we are all children of God. And a huge part of that is learning what our strengths and weaknesses are and learning from our weaknesses and slowly creating them into strengths and learning more about ourselves and how we can heal ourselves and be better and in turn heal others as well and just be better people in general. So that's all I have to say today. My kids are ready for my attention, so I'm going to give it to them. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I just love my subscribers and those that watch my videos. I just feel like we're becoming a family and a community, and I just love it. Thank you so much for your support, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.